Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how we are going to create a fire extinguisher fact using the Unity Particle System. So let's get started. Start by creating a new particle system, effects particle system and rename it to fire extinguisher underscore particle system. Uh, reset its transform, visit five on Y, okay maybe pause it next what we have to do is set its uh, rotation to 13 and 90. so we need a smoke texture that i have here drag and drop it here alpha is transparency hit apply and it looks something like this you can just easily create it in photoshop using a brush tool and now we have to create a new material I'll rename it to smoke underscore matte and uh, change its shader to legacy shaders particles and additive and drag and drop your texture here drop this material here and now we have to make some new changes lifetime will be one speed will be random between two constants maybe 15 and 20 and restart to see how it moves simulation speed will be 2 okay lifetime is set we have to change the size to render between two constants and the values can be 0 0.5 and 1 we can change it later on if you don't like it maybe increase the speed to 20 and 25 and put it back to 1 for some time and we'll see how it goes okay uh, inside emission change the value to 200 and inside shape select the cone and uh, angle will be one and uh, radius will be very small value yeah like that okay after that what i have to do is We have to select color over lifetime, add a keyframe here and put this one to zero. Okay. And this one also zero. So it will be fitting in start and end. Okay, great. Then we have size over lifetime. And we have to use a curve like this one. Okay. Start small and and as big let's change the size to two so we have more dynamic size okay after that we have to check collision change the planes to world and uh, it will be one this will be 0 0.1 and radius will be 0 0.1 okay it will collide with the ground but we need sub emitters on collision so we'll create a new sub emitter and it will be on collision okay after that uh, we have to assign our smoke material to our sub emitter okay okay next what we have to do is set the rotation to random between two constants uh, minus 45 to plus 45 okay then we have size over lifetime it will start big and end small something like this then we have color over lifetime same as we did for our main effect add a keyframe here this and this okay okay then we have shape make sure it's cone you can't see it yet where's our submeter it's currently here 
we have to select the shape as cone after that and here inside emission we have to set a burst of one okay and the rotation will be 90 degrees or let's see how it looks let's change collision to maybe that and you can see that uh, here are some particles emitting go back to our sub emitter pause it and what happens if we uncheck shape nothing much but i have to do something about it because we want it to move okay so let's change the speed to maybe five and as the shape is gone and it is in this direction i want it to go above so it will be minus 90 degrees and yeah okay now this is our effect and this is how it looks let's uh, reposition our camera and let's see the effect now so this is how we make a fire extinguisher effect using the unity particle system i hope you enjoyed the tutorial so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos we will see you in a new video goodbye